So, I'm down here on the shores of Superior, right on the lake shore. And the reason I'm down here along the rocks, other than just because it looks cool, is because I'm still not 100% ready for anyone to walk up. So I'm trying to look anywhere private, you know, so I can just kind of talk. And I, I would, it just makes me feel really weird thinking about somebody walking up on me while I'm doing this. I'm still getting used to that. So, I'm down here next to Lakeshore because there's just about nobody else around me. There's some people way on the rocks over there. But uh, I got this whole area to myself. And as you can see probably, or at least I hope you can, the sunset might just be really beautiful. Although, we got the last light over here. I'm hoping the clouds that are moving this way don't smother the sun as it gets toward the horizon. I've got my setup up there, which you just saw in the beginning. I was really, really excited because this looked like it was gonna pop off. This looks like it was just gonna, uh, there were no clouds to the horizon, but I didn't happen to see before I drove in if the clouds, they're moving in a general no east east direction uh, so in theory they the sun should be fine because it's way to the north but anyway the lights already getting smothered a little bit so um, yeah I got a nice composition up there in a minute I'll take you back up and we'll have a look at that and otherwise We'll just check in when the sun, when that light really starts to go. Side note, I forgot to say something because I was just kind of looking all around. There might be some fog rolling in tonight, uh, or at least this evening. Probably a good bit after sundown, probably close to 10.30, between 10 and 10.30, give or take, rough guess. Uh, and the reason I say that is because I can see something building offshore. And it's definitely getting closer. It's definitely between us and that island out there. I know that island's a no less, I think it's right around eight miles away. I could, I'm probably wrong about that. It's in there. It's not very far away, at least for Lake Superior. So anyway, I just see this huge wall of fog, pretty thin over there, but it gets thicker as it goes out into the lake. And it gets really dense down there. It honestly looks like Munising or O'Train. I'll bet O'Train's gonna get smoked by it tonight. Uh, I got a really cool set of shots from the other side of Presque here when I was out here last week of some fog rolling in up toward Little Presque and overtaking Little Presque and going in between Hogs Bag and all, and all in there. This phenomenon occurs a couple times throughout the spring and summer. Because the lake is so cold, Moisture and fog often build up right on the lake's surface, usually close to sunrise and sunset. If local air currents are right, this fog will get pushed off the lake and onto shore. It looked really cool, but the light was really bad, so I didn't really get any good shots of it. But, we're gonna keep an eye on this fog. If the sunset goes off and I'm able to get that full time lapse, uh, it's still gonna end I'm still gonna have to end that before the fog gets in because the fog's not gonna be rolling in too quickly, too long after sunset. It's gonna come in pretty quick after the sun goes down. So I'm gonna be having to switch shots pretty quick there, but that's all right. And all right, yeah, in the meantime, just keeping an eye on things. completely reset my composition. I stopped that time-lapse looking that way because the light just wasn't gonna happen. 
uh, it had already gone over here as so you can see it's only hitting the very highest clouds up there so it already died down there so it definitely wasn't going to hit back here so i've completely reset because the fog is moving in now it's coming in quick it's definitely closer than it was but i'd say we still got about 10 maybe 15 minutes before it gets here uh, so i've come i've set up a new shot and as you can see right here so my goal here is to get the fog kind of rolling in sweeping across i think it's going to come down over here before it comes over here and envelops where we are so i think that's going to kind of be cool because i think it's going to let us see the the wall the front of the fog wall and so i think it's going to let me be able to get it kind of sweeping across this whole scene instead of just like getting enveloped in a cloud we'll see this is completely unpredictable i'm just taking my best guess here all right breathed on the screen um All right, I'm starting to get it. I'm getting that fog out there. It's still pretty far away in the picture, but that's all right. The point is to get it coming in here, not while it's out there. So what's happening actually, I've been watching. This cloud up here has been moving out and the fog has been coming in right behind it. So I'm not off the top of my head. I'm not 100% sure how those pressure systems work out. I think. That would be the low pressure storm leaving and the high pressure coming in and pushing up the moisture off the lake. Trying to remember. I took a geosciences class and I loved it and trying to recall on that. But all right, anyway, back down here. My exposure is good right now, but all we're going to do is lose light. So I'm definitely going to set high. So I'm going to go back and check my histograms real quick, which are not up. Why aren't they up? All right, I guess, oh, what? Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, I was in the middle of talking and I saw the cloud going pink. Uh, I got about as good a shot as I'm gonna get. Looks kind of cool, the color's definitely there. The color's vibrant. So <laughs> yeah, just had to do that real quick. Composing for the fog because it is coming in. kind of hanging out there and the GoPro is probably picking the light up all right but it's already going pretty quick at least for photography photography which is the least like at the least I'm here to get fine art shots if I get time lapses in addition that's the ideal so I really hate to say it but I'm probably going to abandon the shoot here in a minute or two the light is going really quick the shot on the back of my camera the foreground's already dark so fog rolling in is just going to look like a black wall it's not you're not going to see any of the detail and it's still just sitting out there it's not coming in at all i thought it, it, it's been changing i can see it picking up water you can see it kind of like rotating almost like very 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 slowly but yeah i'm I'm gonna pack it up, call it a night. I, you know, got some decent shots, got a couple time lapses. 
I don't think any of them were particularly mind-boggling. I was really hoping this one would go. The light was looking absolutely perfect, but there's something behind the tree line here that smothered it. If I'd have chosen to shoot that side, who knows? Who knows? But when I made my call to come out, this is where I chose, so this is where I shot. Just didn't happen this time. All right. Join me again next time. So the fog never ended up rolling in that night, but the first time lapse that I shot, it turned out much better than I thought it would.